Earlier today on Instagram, I made a post about self-worth and I wanted to just do a video to go along with it. So the thing about self-worth is that we're not even aware of the many different ways in which we undermine our self-worth. And it happens subconsciously for the most part and it manifests itself in the way we think of our obligations or things that pertain to our health, our career, our happiness, relationships, just about every area of area every area of our lives. Whenever you feel a hesitation to do something that's good for you, that is a moment when you need to remind yourself of your um your own personal worth. For example, going to the gym, it's not fun. Working out doesn't necessarily feel good at first, especially before you really get into shape, but it's good for you and it'll help you feel better and it'll help you look better and it'll most likely help boost your self-confidence. Therefore, you should do it. And so if you're struggling to go to the gym one day, ask yourself or don't ask yourself, tell yourself, you know, if you're like, oh, I'm tired from work. Should I go to the gym today? The first thought you should have is I'm worth it. And that's with anything you're considering, whether it's applying for a job, whether it's taking a class, going back to school, get updating your credentials, getting out of a bad relationship. If you're, if you're lingering in between deciding to do what is difficult but what is best for you or what you really want to do and taking the easy way out, just remember yourself that you're worth it. Um, another example, well, this is a different one. Uh, this is a difficult one. Um, should I wake up early today to get to work on time? If you think of that within the frame of I'm worth it, then that starts the thought process that begins with, I won't get into trouble at work if I get there on time. I'm worth getting to work on time so that I'll keep my job, so that my boss won't be upset with me, so that I can ask that, ask for that raise later down the line. And if you, it, it also involves being prudent and you have to think past the moment. But largely, if you just start with, what's best for me, what am I worth, I deserve it. And you really do deserve it. You really are worth it. You, your longevity, your happiness, your career advancement, all of it, you're worth it and you deserve it. And if you start thinking of yourself that way and treating yourself that way, then the decision making gets a lot easier. It's not so, it's not as bad. I'm not going to say that you're not going to struggle to get to work on time, wake up, go to the gym, eat healthy, lose weight, whatever it is you want to do. But it gets a little bit easier. Like you have a prize to to keep your eyes on if you reframe things and look at your self-worth and remind yourself that you're worth it. Yes, it's difficult. It's hard right now, but you're worth the effort. You're worth protecting yourself. You're worth feeding yourself the right things, you're worth exercising, you're worth trying hard, you're worth expanding your horizons, you're worth figuring out how to accomplish your goals and go after your dreams. You're worth it. You're worth the effort. Just remind yourself you are worth it and let every decision, let every thought, let every plan end with that sentence. Today I'm going to do X, Y, Z because I'm worth it.